The question is, is it applied uh, in an unfair way? Do they do this to all leaks, or do they only do it to James Rosen at Fox News? Is there the same level of anger when the New York Times leaks something? Th that, to me, is the concern. Also, remember, when Panetta called, we don't know that he said name has, has a co-conspirator. It, it could just be find out who the guy is who leaked. We don't know that it was go after the reporter. Charles? I agree with that. I think you have to distinguish it between uh, the, the demand for a leak investigation and the doing the unprecedented of naming a reporter as a co-conspirator, unprecedented at least for 40 years. I think it's completely appropriate for a defense secretary, CIA director, to, to pick up the phone in the middle of the night and say, do you have any idea how this jeopardizes our security, which DOJ would not necessarily know because it isn't the DOJ's expertise. But that doesn't, so that in and of itself, I think, is innocuous and normal. I don't even understand why the White House spokesman implied that there was none of that. These uh, things are initiated by the Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. It ought to be the uh, the president's advisor on terrorism or whatever who calls up and says, you know, you may not understand this, but this is a problem. But remember, on the other kind of leak, the one that came out of the White House that would pump up the president, we had Secretary of Defense Gates at that time storming into the White House after the leak on bin Laden, which gave all kinds of operational stuff which endangered our, our national security, or at least SEALs were going to be doing stuff like this in the future. And he said, shut the shut up. Uh, you guys have to stop this. And the issue is, is was there a double standard? Was there any investigation of that? Did anybody look into the obvious place where this would originate in the White House? Was anybody looked at? So I think the double standard is the real issue here. And the singling out of a reporter, which I suspect, well, nobody knows. Either DOJ did it on its own. Was it ordered from on high? We have no evidence of that.